Hey there folks, today I am bringing you an Ubers battle against Sexy Gliscor, and this battle really showcases the problem with taking an extremely long hiatus and trying to get back into Pokemon. Uh, during my hiatus, I did play Pokemon Showdown a fair amount, but I really wasn't playing Ubers very much for whatever reason, and I definitely wasn't using this team very much. So here I am, having played only like two or three battles with this team in the past few weeks, and it really, really shows, and the theme of this battle is, man am I rusty. So, I go ahead and withdraw Gondwana this first turn, not wanting to take the Ice Beam, but why I went out into my Scissor is kind of an unknown, because Scissor can't really, uh, really I have no good switch-ins for this Mewtwo, but I decided to go for Bullet Punch because I, nothing's gonna work, nothing's gonna do any damage to this, and I'm gonna die to some sort of attack. Didn't necessarily have to be a Fire Blast on this turn. Um, but I get a crit, an extremely lucky crit, because he's got the life orb and he's going to die thanks to that crit. So, really bad luck for my opponent and really bad hacks. Um, here I make a good play. I go out into Daenerys thinking that he would go out into his Kyogre, and here I make another really good play and go for the Thunder. Looking at his team, the only Pokemon who doesn't want, who could take the Thunder pretty well, is going to be his Giratina O, and even then, you know, it's kind of stupid to switch it in, in case I go for Spatial Run. So here he decides he's just going to sack his Fortress, and that means, hey, I can set up rocks if I want to. Although it's getting kind of late in the game, so, you know, rocks aren't really going to help me. He doesn't have anyone weak to rocks, for instance. So here I decide I'm going to go out into Groudon. I'm not exactly sure why. Well, actually, that's my best play. Well, yeah, I was thinking I could sponge the hit. But, as you can see, I can't. And by the way, the calcs say that's kind of min damage. So, really bad play there. I go out into Arceus. Really, this was a bad play too, because I don't know how much the Space Run is going to do to my Arceus. And if it's more than half, then I just sack two Pokémon instead of one. So, Arceus actually takes a little bit less than 50%, and so I'm hoping that I can recover back. He misses his Spatial Rend. Huge amount of annoying, annoying hacks, although what it all meant is that... Uh, you know, I'm recovering back to full rather than 50%, but it does mean that I'm able to get off the Swords Dance on this turn, so it's really not a good situation for my opponent. Uh, here I think I go for the Recover, uh, no, no, I go for the Shadow Claw here, and get another bit of hacks, so the Hacks Gods are really smiling on me today, although this, this bit of hacks may or may not have mattered, I'll put up the calc in the description, or the annotations rather, um, because I did have the Brick Break and I was at plus two, so I'm not sure whether a non-crit Shadow Claw plus, uh, plus two Brick Break would have KO'd, but I'll let you guys know. Here, I was just hoping that he wasn't Scarfed. Indeed, he was not Scarfed, and I'm able to get off a Shadow Claw that almost takes him out. It doesn't quite, but it doesn't matter because now, it's actually, this is almost better because he's locked into Water Spout. I think he's probably Specs, and uh, I'm able to recover as he decides he's just going to leave in his Kyogre as Death Fodder. So really, he probably should have switched and not let me recover, but it wasn't the worst play in the world. Uh, now he's going to go out into his Palkia, I decide I'm just going to see how much damage a plus two Shadow Claw is going to do. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for Hydro Pump, does a lot, a lot more damage than Spatial Ren, does not quite take me out. Uh, I am not able to take out him out. Uh, I was kind of leaving in Arceus, mainly as, mainly as fodder, but also just in case his Hydro Pump missed. Here, this was a bad play. The correct answer in this situation, especially based on the two Pokemon that he has left, would have been to go out into Palkia, and I could have just swept through, uh, gone for two Spatial Runs, and probably ended the match. Instead, I went out into Gondwana, and just to get up the sun, I don't know, and I was expecting him to take me out with a Hydro Pump, because at that range of health, considering it's super effective and stab, it should have been able to, it should have been able to take, take me out. I was expecting a Draco Meteor there, which is why I went for the Roar, I just clicked a random move, basically. And, uh, so, Gondwana really was meant to just be fodder, and it didn't quite work out that way, and just really ended up being weird plays on my part. Why would I set up Stealth Rock when there's only two Pokémon left? No idea. Uh, anyway, go out into Dioxus here, uh, and Dioxus is just gonna go for the extreme speed, and, uh, really this was also, this was a bad play considering, uh, the moves he had lost, well, I don't know, this is really, this is what it was. Uh, here, I decide I'm gonna go ahead and sack my Geoxys, just let it die, uh, because that way I will get a free switch into one of my last two Pokémon. 
I decide it's going to be my Reshiram, and I decide, rather than letting the Hax Gods screw me over, I'm just going to go for the safe Dragon Pulse. I did the calcs and saw that it would have KO'd, so really the only reason to go for DM would have been for the better animation. So that is good game, Sexy Gliscor. Uh, I'm sorry about all the hacks, and it really cancelled out the fact that I was really rusty as hell. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this really hacksy, really awful battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.